we, uh, we talked about coloring this ninja at a later date, and it's that time. Um, he's going to be pretty easy to color because I'm just going to use a red pen. But we'll have a nice red ninja. Um, what I'm going to do is actually maybe talk a little bit about marker technique. And not, not anything special for fills because um, there's a lot of really cool techniques, but when you're only using one color, we're only going to be talking about one thing, and that is actually, um, as you're coloring, use a, use a soft hand to let your markers bleed into the paper, um, because they'll, they'll do all the blending for you. If you really press down hard with your markers, and have them uh, push into the page and discharge more color. Um, you'll you'll see it. The blending will be will be harder to to deal with. Um, some some markers are really nice um, to color with uh, Prismacolors or uh, or Copic markers like the one I'm using. Um, but I really, I actually really learned how to do a lot of this um, just with Crayola markers <laughs> when I was younger. Um, having having a soft hand with those and and seeing how they blend together um, made using these really nice markers uh, a lot easier to deal with. I already had a, a good understanding of of what to expect once I started putting these on the paper. Um, the, uh, the variety of colors that are available for all the, all the different types of markers. I mean, and, and when I say different types of markers, I really do mean all types of markers. Um, you know, you can do the solid colors and keep them nice and clean. Um, what I like about a lot of the, the Copic markers and a lot of the Prisma colors is uh, that you can actually color over the top of them, and they'll they'll take the color pretty well. And you can you can do some really nice blends, add some really nice effects. And if you have a soft touch, uh, like as I've been talking about, so that it's smooth when you start. Um, when you add those other colors on the top, it just it it blends very nicely and the the parts where uh, you have the color changes stand out so almost done here with my my red ninja and I've only gone out of the lines a couple times but for the most part all the colors are nice and smooth Again, by not pressing down too hard, we're going too fast. I, I didn't, I didn't run it out. I didn't uh, leave a big mess. And you got a nice red ninja. Although, I think if I hit him one more time, gently, that red will be a little nicer. Although, uh, one thing that I have learned is if you start to go over it too much, you can actually go through your paper, so be careful about that. And then uh, you can also see that there's actually some variation in tone where I, where I hit it more than once. So I can actually do some shading that will actually stay in the drawing. So you can use that to your advantage too. Like I said, there's, there's some techniques that are easy to do with just one marker. And that's it. Red Ninja.